Hello everyone, it is i7s, and welcome back. This is module one with heat and materials. Point two, what it all means. In the last episode of this module, we were uh, talking about this example here. High heat, going over here, uh, moving, and what that means. But in this one, we're going to look at more, not real life, but like real Oni life implications of all this. I had someone in the comments on the last one talking about conducting heat as a better way of articulating how heat moves, and I agree with that. Right now, if you pull up the temperature overlay and you have this setup going, this very simple setup. With the most recent update, you can kind of see it. See the red? And then this spot starts uh, having heat. In addition to producing carbon dioxide, it also has heat. But in the grand picture, it's everywhere. Here's another little nifty thing I've made. Kind of looks like a pair of glasses. Need to focus. Um. What we have here is 900 degree igneous rock and metal tile at 20 degrees. And we have a vacuum. So no matter what, don't worry about out here. No matter what, this 900 degrees will stay there. And this 20 degrees will stay there because of the vacuum. This is kind of similar in this example here. Where we have, in this case, even though we have a door, we basically have this. We have vacuum right here so the heat does not move except when I close the door and then boom it starts moving or conducting heat but the thing is it's everywhere right so what does that mean okay so right now I am in creative mode so in the previous episode we were talking about how metal tiles move heat but everything does so I'm going to fill this up right here, this vacuum. I'm going to fill it up, as you can see in the bottom right, with oxygen that is at 27 degrees Celsius. I'm going to first pause it. Now if you look, we have oxygen, 27 degrees. We have the 900 degrees here, and we have the 20 degrees here. And we're going to play it with the temperature overlay. And see, although there is just oxygen there, the temperature is moving, it's conducting. It's going from 900 degrees Celsius and it's making its way. This is getting hot and then, you know, it's gradual. But even this metal tile, it's starting to heat up. Let's fast forward. All right, so now you can see that it's a, uh, it's getting kind of warm. All of it is kind of getting kind of warm. And this is just with oxygen. Other gases would do the same thing too. So what does this mean in a situation like this? Well, later on in this series, we're going to be talking about like actual ways of kind of mitigating heat and those kinds of issues. Some things hold heat more some things hold chill more as i pointed out in 1.1 um, and probably lightly on 1.2 but the main thing i would recommend in a real oni live playthrough for those starting out is consider what asteroid you're playing on i recommend a terra asteroid if you're just playing and starting out I brought it up here because I wanted to show you guys how like this is, you know, I deleted all this, but this is just base spawning of temperature. It's doing the same thing. This sulfur randomly 30 degrees Celsius and this mafic rock at 24 degrees. They're butting heads. They're trying to reach, as one commenter said, a state of, state of equilibrium. Right here, you can even see it doing it. And this is with me deleting it. 
this polluted oxygen, and even this copper. Although it might take a good bit of time, they're doing the same thing. So when you have a colony set up, you know, kind of sort of like this, and in another module, we will also talk about like base design setups, you know, that'll be fun stuff. I'm excited about that. But, you know, to kind of touch on it now, I would recommend building these kinds of machines. The ones that, uh, you know, they run and um, they end up conducting heat. You can see it here. It's not doing it now because there's no coal in there, but I recommend building these further away. You definitely want to build them away from your plants, both, you know, plants that you can eat as well as just plants that can grow and give you other materials. If you click on a plant, you'll see that it has a body temperature. This is where it's good to kind of know the the numbers for the different plants. I like to grow bristle bro uh, blossoms as one. Um, if you built a farm right next to this all the way here uh, and this ends up making a lot of heat then your plants won't grow so I would suggest like if this is your main base and you have your different rooms like here consider building this outside you will have to deal with the temperature at some point but short-term solution is to build it outside one final note I will make uh, for both this series as well as your exploration into Oni itself is that throughout the game, a lot of the things that, uh, that you do to solve problems will just cause other problems. That's part of the game. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with having a temporary solution. Sometimes your temporary solutions may solve something temporarily, hence the name temporary solutions, but then later on they can kind of blow up in your face and you're going to have to do massive damage control. With this series we will try and make sure that doesn't happen. So to recap, the main thing is that everything can move temperature or conduct heat, conduct chill, move it around, especially buildings buildings that run even this battery this battery right here like it may not be showing it but it, it can also give off heat heat production 500 DTUs so just keep that in mind as you are going on in Oni and remember in the back of your mind that when you explore different areas or build different buildings you're going to have to eventually circle back with that temperature. And don't forget the importance of building an insulated tile. This will really help you with being able to block the temperature from outside and inside. But keep in mind that if you have a bunch of hot buildings inside, then it's just going to make the temperature inside even hotter. I love your guys' feedback. Put comments down corrections that I can make, terminology that we can change, and we can all figure this out together. I'm Sevens of Brute Force Systems, Inc., and I'll see you guys in the next one.